Hi there, it's Kristen. If you followed me from one of my Raised in a 12-step program videos, welcome back. This is New Year's Day. Happy New Year. I wrote a blog post this morning about how I don't really do New Year's resolutions. I never have because I am the first person to break a promise to. Like if I make a promise to myself, I'm gonna break that promise. But I did something at the beginning of last year, which I figured out at, by accident ended up being kind of a vision board of sorts. I wrote a blog about it, but today I'm gonna read January 1st from Melody Beattie's The Language of Letting Go. It is written by the author of Codependent No More, and it is a daily meditation book where she integrates her own life experiences and reflections. Today's is called The New Year. Make New Year's goals. Dig within and discover what you would like to have happen in your life this year. This helps you do your, your part. It is an affirmation that you're interested in fully living life in the year to come. I never thought of it like that. Damn Melody Beatty. All these years later, she still gets to me. Goals give us direction. They put a powerful force into play on a universal, conscious, and subconscious level. Goals give our life direction. What would you like to have happen in your life this year? What would you like to do to accomplish? What good would you like to attract into your life? What particular areas of growth would you like to have happen to you? What blocks or character defects would you like to have removed? What would you like to attain? Little things, big things, where would you like to go? What would you like to have happen in friendship or in love? What would you like to have happen in your family life? Remember, we aren't controlling others with our goals. We are trying to give direction to our life. What problems would you like to see solved? What decisions would you like to make? Usually the answer is no decisions because I have all the tisms and the letters, so I hate making decisions. But if Melody Beatty asks, then I have to come up with an answer. What would you like to have happen in your career? Write it down. Take a piece of paper, a few hours of your time, and write it all down as an affirmation of you, your life, and your ability to choose. Then let it go. Certainly things happen that are out of our control. Sometimes these events are pleasant surprises. Sometimes they are of another nature, but they are all part of the chapter that will be this year in our life and will lead us forward in the story. The new year stands before us like a chapter in a book waiting to be written. We can help write that story by setting goals. Today, I will remember that there is a powerful force motivated by writing down goals. I will do that now for the year to come and regularly as needed. I will do it not to control, but to do my part in living my life. What I figured out was that out of frustration and irritation and desperation last January, I took out a piece of notebook paper and I wrote down all of these statements, these I am, I will statements, not even realizing that what I was doing was essentially writing goals. And when I looked back on them, a lot of them happened. So this year I decided to go with a vision board, which don't come at me about how to do it right and how to do it wrong. I've gone down the rabbit hole and I know that there are plenty of opinions. But anyway, it just was funny to me that Melody Beattie had something to tell me. I've read this book a gazillion times, but still today I needed to hear it and I was already in the process of doing it. And that is not odd. That is God. There are no accidents or coincidence. I would love for you to like, follow, and share, but more importantly, as they say in the program, keep coming back. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I love you. Keep coming back.